Hello and welcome back to a page-by-page -page review of Dune by Frank Herbert. Today, page 429. This page is mildly good. Uh, and for those of you who don't have a lot of time that perhaps you're following along every single day, um, in, but I understand uh, that you might have prior commitments and if that's all you need for this page, uh, feel free to log off. Give us a like. Um, comment below. Uh, we're very excited for the vibrant community. Uh, page 429, Jessica and Paul. Uh, we first, on the top of the page, get uh, a description of a questing mouth. So that's what is trying to follow them into this uh, crevice in the rocks. Uh, it was round. It was a round black hole with edges glistening in the moonlight. The mouth snaked towards the narrow crack where Paul and Jessica huddled. Just absolutely visceral descriptions. Uh, Paul and Jessica can smell the cinnamon scent of the spice as it gets closer and closer. And Paul, while Jessica is terrified and doesn't like it, Paul is analyzing it and in this moment has no prescient view of the future. And he describes it as being in a valley that's shapeless around him. Um, and he... it accelerates his other senses and he, he kind of almost likes it um, and the mouth is still trying to get to them and it's showering rocks and whatnot as it's brushing against the rocks from above on them and Paul crowds his mother back. What would you do in this situation? Let us know in the comments below uh, specifically uh, if you would like to not be able to see the future if you had once had that ability let us know about Paul. Keep reading Frank Herbert's Dune tomorrow 4 30.